Hey Scrollers, Bob Bloodworth here with ScrollsawParadise.com This is one of those videos I just really was never sure I should make. This is a, a simple video about installing or changing your scroll saw blade. I'm sure most of you already know how to do that. Actually, I've been working on another video that is scroll saw specific to the Excalibur. So I was making up all these animations and I kind of had a revelation as I was doing this and realized something that I never really thought of before as a, as a scroller that's been doing this for over five years now. Never really thought of this issue. And uh, maybe it's just because I'm an idiot. Who knows? But anyway, I thought I would go ahead and point this out in a video. So uh, here we go. All right. Well, as you can see here, we're starting off with uh, upper blade holder, our thumb screw, and the screw that actually is what you tighten the blade to when you tighten the thumb screw. You're actually pushing it against this little screw here. Uh, this is your typical view that you're going to see when you sit down in front of your saw for the most part. Okay, and just to show you that I'm not super lazy, I did go ahead and build the lower blade holders as well. And, you know, looking at the blade from this view and everything, Everything looks honky dory. We're good to go. You know, blades all tight and everything. And then we, you know, just for the heck of it, let's look at it from the side. Wow. That's, uh, something's not quite right there. I think that's kind of obvious. Well, let's get the full view and see what it looks like down at the bottom, too. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is an issue that probably a lot of people have without even knowing it because you're looking straight on at the scroll saw blade when you install it. it it's not a huge deal but it can you know it can cause blades to wear and break prematurely and that's something we really don't want and speaking of that this video is actually came from the other video that i recently made about blades breaking and uh, after I made that video I had this little revelation I thought well I'm not going to redo the other video so this is kind of like an addendum to the why do my blades break video which you know if you haven't seen it the link is here you know but you can watch it when you're done watching this one of course and I will have the link up at the end of the video but anyway as you can see it's, it's quite surprising to see how far your blade can actually be off and you might not even be aware of it so anyway, let's take a little closer look at what's going on here. Okay, here's a cutaway of the top blade holder. Obviously, this is for the Excalibur EX21. As you can see, with this, the properly installed blade, the back of the blade is flat up against the back of the blade holder. The nice thing about these particular blocks is it has this really nice flat surface on the back that gives you a positive feeling when you put the blade in you can feel the back of the blade go flat against the back of the block here that's a big help it, and you can feel it and when you feel it go flat you're pretty much good to go you don't have anything else to worry about I, I don't know if that works on all scroll saws out there I'm sure it probably doesn't but for the Excalibur it does as you can see here, we uh, the red blade is a blade that's not installed correctly. And it's very, it's off just a little bit on the actual installation. I mean, we're talking, you know, 32nd of an inch maybe, you know, a couple of five or six thousandths of an inch difference. And that's what can give you a really large deviance from center by just a little bit of misadjustment out here can really cause your problems down at the bottom blade holder. But scroll saw blades are very flexible, so it's very easy to just, without even thinking about it, just slam it into the back of the bottom blade holder and go ahead and tighten up your the bottom blade holder. Well, that's all good and everything, I guess. But if you think about it, it really isn't. Because what have we done? Okay, by tightening our blade in the bottom blade holder, we've put a lot of tension and we've actually bent the blade in the holder here because 
the when you pushed it into the bottom the top was already tightened down okay so now we've got a whole bunch of tension at the top of the holder here with that tension there probably get away with it but now you've also got to tension the blade itself so that you can cut with it properly which you need to put a lot of force on the blade so now we're stretching the blade up and creating even more tension with the bend involved and that's just not good you know that's going to cause your blade to wear out prematurely or break so there is an answer to it as you can see here we have the proper blade in order to fix this you've got the bottom thumb wheel lock okay simply loosen the top thumb screw up and the blade it will release all this tension built up on the blade and it will it's like taking your belt off after the all-you-can-eat buffet everything just feels so much better because everything stretches out so now the blades going to find its own center it's going to be all comfortable and happy now and now you can go ahead and tighten your knob down. The blade's going to find a much happier place. And everything's good to go. So pretty much the whole point of this entire video is after you install your blade, loosen the top knob back up. Uh, pretty much that simple. And let your blade fall into place. Okay, and this is obviously what your blade should look like. The square, what the, I didn't mention this, but what the square represents is this is your top arm. It represents top arm should be parallel to your blade holders which if you have a have way decent scroll saw it will be we're showing this is showing the parallelness of the blade to the rest of the saw and that's what we want we want our blade to be nice and parallel with the rest of the saw because if it's not if it's sticking back if it's sticking out like this is you know that's not good that's simply not good. It's going to do nothing but cause problems. So anyway, we want our blades to be happy and comfortable. All right, well, that's it for how to install a blade. Hopefully it helped a little bit. Hang out because I'm going to have all the different links up here now. Important things you need to know, like where my website is and other videos, so on and so forth.